systems of equations by elimination. To be able to solve a systems of equation by elimination, we need to follow three steps. Step number one is to align. What I mean by this is to align equations. Well, these two equations are aligned um, the same way. We have the x's here, the y's here, the equals, and the constants. So therefore, this step is done for us already. It is aligned already. Step number two, prepare. What I mean by prepare for elimination is, <clears throat> elimination is a combination of both equations that are combined together. But in the process of, of combining, we need to have two like values that are going to, that, that have opposite signs that are going to cancel. In other words, the coefficients of a variable type need to cancel. So here, it, we need to find a common number between 3 and 15. But if we look at the y's, we have 2 and 6. The, the uh, common number is, is uh, 6. If I multiply this one by 3, I'll get 6. And that's what we're looking for. We want to multiply the top equation by the value of 3. Why not negative 3? Because we need to have them have opposite signs so they can eliminate. Okay? So our result here is going to be 9x plus 6y is equal to 3 times 22 is what? 66? On the second equation here, we didn't change anything. We keep it the same. We only change the equations that we have to. In this case, to prepare, we needed to multiply the top one by 3. And I distribute, it, distribute the 3 onto all the three items here. So we got 9x plus 6y is equal to 66. Now, notice that the, the coefficients of y are opposites. That's what we're looking for. That's how we're going to be able to proceed. So that is, so we can check this one out. Now, now since we're ready to, uh, to do the third step, which is to solve, we can, we can place a line underneath, meaning that we're going to combine now. So when we combine, 9x and 5x is what? 14x. And the positive 6y and the minus 6y cancel out. And that's going to leave us with an equal. 66 minus 10 is what? 52. No, 56. Now, here, what do we do now? Now what we have to do is we have to divide by 14 to both sides. So divide by 14, if, uh, 56 divided by 14 is x is equal to what? To 4. So now we have one solution already solved. How do we find the other solution? To get the last solution, what we need to do is grab one of these original ones, and I'm going to go ahead and, and get the, the first one, first original, without the change of the 3 onto it. So I'm going to write 3 parentheses, parentheses plus 2y is equal to 22. Now notice that I left the parentheses here blank. What do you think goes there? Well, look at the original equation. 3x plus 2y is equal to 22. We're, we're lacking x. Do I put the value of x or do I put the variable of x? Anytime I already know what the value is, that's what we want to input. So we want to place a 4 there, okay, because we know that x is equal to 4. So then we'll continue here. That's going to become 12 plus 2y is equal to 22. We subtract 12 to both sides. And we get what? 2y 
is equal to 10. Then one more step. We divide by 2 to both sides, and we find out that the answer for y, the answer for y is equal to 5. So that's my other answer. My answers are x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 5.